For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We love him because he first loved us. God loved us enough that before we were born, that there was a need for mankind, the sinner. And before we were born, God foreknowing about us sent his son in love for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that God loved us before even us were here. And today for people that can hear me, you're going to die because you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. And your means of going and getting to heaven has already been settled by God in the Word of God before you were born. That Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now the devil and mankind has come up with a slick maneuver to falsely deceive you to think that anything you can do is better than what Jesus has done. And for the Bible says, for those that are saved, go on to the world and preach the gospel. We're not to preach prosperity. We're not supposed to preach goodness. We're supposed to preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. It is written, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father God but by me. So there is no room for religion. There's no ways of doing something. For the Bible says that there's none that doeth good. What about Muhammad? So you cannot say anything about I'm good enough. What about Buddha? They're just fallen God. Confucius. Jesus Christ is God the Father, uh -huh. manifested in the flesh that Thomas said, Behold, my Lord, my God. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That's true, correct. And the fact is that man will die because he is a sinner. The wages of sin is death. And there are some people who have told me, he said, Preacher, uh, I've never sinned, but when you die, you, you have performed the fact is, you are a sinner. And Jesus Christ, the Bible speaks of, is that Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. There is nothing that can remove our sin. There is nothing that can cleanse us of our sin. There is nothing that can wash us of our sin, except you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The great nothing I am. Else. The great I am. And the fact is that God has set forth the standard before we were born. And man comes along, and the devil comes along and says, I'll give you something else. I'll make you feel good. And deception will get you into the gates of hell for not believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, a man does not go into hell because he's a sinner. A man will go into hell because he has not received Jesus Christ for his sin. The fact is that Jesus Christ suffered and died for all mankind according to the scripture. He's rejected. God has set forth a way, and that way is through Jesus Christ, and the penalties and the payments of sin has been paid through Jesus. And the very fact is, hell is for you who do not want to believe upon Jesus. You can believe upon Mary. And the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. Who do you say I am? I am the Lord, Je Lord Jehovah Jesus Christ. God the Bible, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And there's no other. Mary ain't going to help. No, nope, Mary will not do it. The mediator is Jesus Christ. The Bible says that there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. She don't qualify as a mediator. Our hey, mother who art in heaven. Hey, man, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you.
God bless you. And that fact is we're all sinners. Three basic sins that every human does. He lies. Lying is a sin. Not giving honor to our parents. That's a sin. And we have stolen something. Sometime in some period we have taken something that's not ours without permission. That's stealing. You are now a sinner. You have told a lie. Hi, boss. I don't feel good today. I'm not coming in. And if you weren't feeling well, that's a lie. Every week. And you are no perfect child. You have dishonored your parents. And the Bible says, honor thy mother and father. And when you have failed that, you're a sinner. And as a sinner, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. You need the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. Religion can't do it when Jesus says, I am the way. He didn't say Baptist is the way. He didn't say Catholic is the way. He didn't say baptism. He didn't say you can give money. He said you can do all these things. I can walk for MS. No, that don't get you into heaven. By your faith and your belief and your repentance of your sins, get you to heaven through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Whosoever was not found right in the Lamb's book of life was cast off in the lake of fire that burns forever, and your name gets in that book through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is none righteous, no, not one. As far as normal human mankind, there is none righteous. But I'll tell you about the righteous one. He has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God may be in us through him. Christ had no sin, and yet upon the cross, God laid upon him sin. Jesus Christ suffered for every sin every man that created has done. There is no sin that Jesus Christ can't wash away. There is no one who is so wicked enough, so vile enough, that God would say, no, I can't save you. Salvation is for all men. Come now, let us be together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You cannot say, you can say it, but you'll be a liar. I'm going to heaven without Jesus. No, you're not. You will burn in the flames of hell without Jesus. This is Bible preaching. This ain't a man sitting in a pulpit to get your friendship, to get your money, to get you to come to his church. This is a man that preaches Christ Jesus is able to save the sinner, the uttermost, that God is able to cleanse your sin. I'm not interested in your money. I'm interested in your soul. Come to Jesus as the sinner that you are. Put your trust, put your faith, and repent of your sins, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Anything else, you're going to hell. That's plain and simple. Salvation is set forth simple. No Jesus, no heaven. To know Jesus is for God to know you and to come into his presence. You are not going to heaven by your church. You're not going to heaven on how good you are. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when you have other prospects of going to heaven without Jesus, you are telling God you're not good enough. Upon the work of Calvary's cross, 
I can do more better than you, God. When God has set forth the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, and you say, God, here's my church membership. That's better than Jesus. God, I was baptized in the ocean. That's better than Jesus. God, look how good I am. I am goodier than Jesus. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. <laughs> to get a well done, thou good and faithful servant, is for one to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything else Jesus will say according to the scriptures, depart from me. Imagine Jesus telling you to go to hell. When you have heard a preacher say, how not to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy has followed me all the days of my life, because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved. For with the heart man believes on the righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, I can't but shut my mouth up about Jesus. He is the blessed hope. He is God manifested in the flesh. He's the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. God's not willing that any should perish. God does not want you to go into hell. He has done all he can do through Jesus Christ. And if you end up in hell, you do it against God and his love, Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. You know, we have a ballpark here. We have a baseball ballpark. And if you want to go to the ball game, you need the baseball tickets. You are not getting to go watch that game with NASCAR tickets. Nor can you go to the Daytona 500 with soccer tickets. You can't pay these people who have fruits and vegetables. You can't pay them with monopoly money. You need something that's been certified, something that's been approved, and something that is of value. The baseball park will take baseball tickets. Daytona 500 will take NASCAR tickets. These people will take American money, and God will take the blood of Jesus Christ and nothing else. Oh, I was baptized. Salt water or fresh water? Which one? You already got a denomination of baptism. You got fresh water and you got salt water. Oh, my church can save me. Catholic, Baptist, Unitarianism, uh, what, what, which one? Denomination. I give money to charity. This charity, that charity, other charity, which charity? Denomination. By the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel that he suffered and died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and was buried and rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, no denomination. He is the way, He's the life. No man has access to God except by Jesus Christ. That plain and simple. You see, the devil gives you ways. God says there's a way, the way, no other way. No other way. Only saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything else will get you into hell. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm a deacon. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But Lord, didn't I get money for the MS? Didn't I get money for those little children? Didn't I not send stuff to Africa? Depart from me.
me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. See, everything that man can do is an iniquity, and iniquity is sin, and there's no sin in the presence of God, for God says, I'm being okay, holy, so. for I am holy, and we are not holy, because we are sinners, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You need the one that says he had... <clears throat> He has made sin for us who knew no sin, that we may be the righteousness of God through Him. The sinless one took on our sins that we may be saved. You have a sin condition. It's a terminal condition. It will kill you. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The entrance into God's holy heaven is through God's holy Son, Jesus Christ. Nothing else. A man cannot resolve your sin when he is a sinner. You can't get a sinner to wash away a sinner. That don't work. You need the sinless one, the Lord Jesus Christ, to cleanse you of your sins, who has taken upon our sins upon Calvary's cross. Forever thy word is settled in heaven that Jesus saved, only Jesus saved. And you and your religion and you and your works and you and whoever what you are outside of Jesus Christ, depart from me, work is iniquity. I never knew you. Go off into hell. Hell's so simple to get into. Do whatever you want. I like it. Everybody does it. And heaven is just as easy. There's one thing to do to get to heaven. One thing and one thing only. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. Want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Want to go to hell? Do whatever you want, everything you want. Go for it. Just reject Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to go to heaven and reject Jesus Christ to go to hell. It's that simple. You will not get to heaven on good intention. You will not get to heaven by being good. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. But the one that has done good is God and is doing good, is forever approved by God, for he is God, and he suffered upon Calvary's tree for our sins, that he is the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Your priest is not a lamb that takes away the sin. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing, and he adds more to your sin. And then don't trust them with your children. The basic thing is, we are born into sin whether we like it or not. And it always goes back to Grandma and Grandpa Adam and Eve. And you have a condition, you have a medical condition, it's a terminal condition, it's called sin, and the wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you're a sinner, and except you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be saved. When you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. When you receive Jesus Christ, your name is put in the last book of life, and God knows you by name. Through the only name of Jesus, there's no other name amongst men whereby you must be saved, and that name is Jesus. Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong. Jesus is God. 
the Catholics are wrong. There's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. And if you don't know what gender is, you're sick and you need to be locked up. Because the Bible says there's a male and there's a female. And there's one male that saved our souls. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing else. God is never a female. Don't go to a woman to be saved. Go to the man Christ Jesus to be saved. Be washed of your sins through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ without spot, without ring. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. God only accepts the blood of Jesus Christ and nothing else. He don't take money. He don't take check. He don't take charity. He takes the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and is able to cleanse your soul. You can never be wicked enough where God can't save your soul. There is nothing that you have done, will do, can do, that God says, I can't save you. But there is one ultimate sin that you can do to go to hell. Reject Jesus Christ. And you can repent of rejecting Jesus by believing on Jesus today. Come out of your atheism. Come out of your agnosticism. Come out of your religion. And come to Jesus and be saved. Come out of your foolishness. Come out from being simple. Come out and be a Christian through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Death is coming, and we don't know when. You know, the doctor may say two weeks, one month, a year, but he don't know, but God knows. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God is angry with the wicked every day. And to come out from your wickedness is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You can be a child of God. You can be adopted by God through Jesus Christ. And only through Jesus Christ. And yet you've got to be careful because the Bible warns us that there is another Jesus. I'll tell you what another Jesus is. The Jehovah Witness Jesus is not God. That can't save your soul. The Catholic Jesus is, he must be ingested. That is called cannibalism. And it's against the Bible. You do not eat a God to be saved. You believe on God to be saved. Allah is not God. He can't save your soul. He's not even in the Bible. Or he's in the Bible under the name of Satan. You are not good enough you cannot be good enough because I don't see in the Bible believe on you to be saved. I see in the Bible believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I don't see your name there. I don't see you suffering and dying on the cross according to the scriptures. And yet Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. You are not coming out of the grave three days and three nights after we bury you. And yet Jesus Christ came out of the grave three days and three nights according to the scripture. How do you know Jesus is the way? He came out of the tomb with more than 400 witnesses that saw the 
the resurrected Jesus. That's where religion ends. Religion ends at the graveyard. Religious men are still in the ground. They're still dead. Jesus Christ is alive and seated at the right hand of the Father. That's the difference. Well, preacher, what makes your religion better than my religion? I serve a risen Savior. You got someone dead, going to die, and stay dead. How's that? Joe Smith is still in the grave. And all his wives. The popes are still in their tombs, still dead. There is no hope in the pope. They can't save you. Only Jesus saves. Mary's dead. She could never save you. Matter of fact, the final words of Mary in the Bible is, whatsoever my son saith, do it. Jesus said, put your faith and your trust in him, not his mother. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. My mouth and my heart are in tune with God through Jesus. There is nothing more, there is nothing else that can save your soul but Jesus. God is not satisfied with anything but Jesus. And I've said, be careful because there's another Jesus out there. The devil has his own Jesus. That Jesus can't save your soul. The Jesus that was born of a virgin of the tribe of Judah in Bethlehem who is God, of God, and by God, and God. That's the Jesus that's able to save your soul. Nothing else satisfies God except the finished work of Jesus, the gospel of Jesus, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Nothing else satisfies me. Nothing else is God approved. But that of Jesus. You will not accidentally get to heaven. Getting to heaven is not by accident. It is getting by faith and belief in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I didn't say Mary. I didn't say Allah. I said Jesus. No other. And it's not in you. You can't save yourself and you can't save anybody else because you are a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all come up short. And that gap to get to the Father is Jesus. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But I do that, no. No man comes on the Father but by me. Jesus said that. There is no but. Assurance into heaven is only through Jesus. Broad is the way that goes to, that leads us to destruction, and many will go that way. Straight is the gate that leads us to life, and that life is the gate of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the door. Religion is the tomb. 
As Jesus described the Pharisees, on the outward you look clean, you look wonderful, but on the inside you're filled with dead man bones. That's religion. Jesus Christ is life, and his life or more abundant. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, and the wrath of God is hell. You will go to hell without Jesus. And there is no partying in hell. Because of the fire, because of the darkness, your friends will not want to put up with you in hell. There, the rich man said, oh, I can have a drop of water. There's no water in hell. There's no alcohol in hell. There's no mercy in hell. There's no grace in hell. And you can get out of hell through Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ. Anything else but Jesus, God will say, depart from me. Get away from me, you iniquity. Get away from me, you sinner. Well, that's just so... There's no option. Yeah, there's the option. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. That's it. Listen, God set the standard, not American. As I said, God has suffered and died before we were born. Fantastic. Thank you so very much. Thank you. May you have a blessed day. And we can. There is nothing else you can do but believe on Jesus to go to heaven. Nothing. Nothing you can get when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. How do you get over Jesus when Jesus says, I'm the way? By you telling Jesus, I'm better than you. And Jesus will say, well, get away from me, go to hell. You think you're better than me? Watch this. Go to part of me, you work as a dick. I never do you. That's how good you are. When the preacher says there is none that do it good, and you still think you're good enough. You won't make it. You won't be pleased with God. God will not be satisfied with you. God is satisfied with the finished work of the blood of atonement of the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. God don't care how you feel. God doesn't care about your opinions. God is God. He said Jesus Christ is the way. And if you don't like it, tough cookies. God said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. No matter what you feel, no matter what you want, no matter what God said, Jesus Christ is the way. That's it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's charity. That's love. God's not willing that any should perish. God is not going to be happy casting you off into hell. Not when he sends a loud mouth preacher to tell you how to be saved. Listen, I know many of you hate me being here. You want the love of God. And the love of God is sending the preacher with the bad, with the big mouth to preach to you the truth. Because the Bible says in Romans 10, how beautiful are the feet that carry the good tidings. The Bible says to me, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The Bible says about wisdom, she goes to the chief place of concord. And what the better place for concourse is a farmer's market. You are hearing the same preaching of Dwight Moody.
You're hearing the same preaching of Jonathan Ed Edwards. You're hearing the same preaching of Whitefield. You're hearing the same preaching of Peter, James, and John. Jesus Christ is the way. There is no other way to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That was the preaching of the booth. And it's the preaching you get today here. Salvation can only be wrought by Jesus. And only by Jesus. You are not safe by rejecting Jesus. And Jesus is not to be taken orally. You don't eat Jesus, you're a cannibal. The Catholic Church got that from the cannibals. How do we please the cannibals? Well, we'll eat our God like they do. Listen, you're hearing a preacher from a man that used to be Roman Catholic. Now he's a Christian by the blood of Jesus. God can reform your religion through Jesus Christ. There's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus. It's not Luther, not Methodist, not Baptist, not Catholic, not... The name of Jesus Christ saved. No, it's not Catholic, man. Call no man your father upon the earth. It can't be Mary. The Bible says there's one being between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Mary's the wrong sex. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that plain and simple. When you look at the scripture, Jesus Christ is God approved. Nothing else will get you into glory except by the finished work, the gospel of Jesus Christ, who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. No Pope has done that. No Mary has done that. Only Jesus saved. No hope in the Pope, but Jesus. No hope in religion, but Jesus. Religion is dead. Jesus Christ is alive at the right hand of the Father. That's the difference. I serve, a ra I serve a risen Savior. I don't serve a dead religion. How can you be safe in a system that goes against the Word of God? When it rejects the Word of God, it ain't going to save you. Rebellion is rebellion. And when you put your faith and trust and repent of your sins through Jesus, that's not rebellion. That's acceptable in the eyes of God. The angels in heaven rejoice over one that repents and gets right to Jesus. The same God that's given us these fruit and vegetables has also given us the Lord Jesus Christ. The same God that gave us these fruits and vegetables to enjoy, He's given us the Lord Jesus Christ to enjoy. There is no enjoyment outside of Jesus. There's no God being approved outside of Jesus. The Bible says, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't say preach a creed. It doesn't say preach a sacrament. It doesn't say preach anything. It says preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried 
and arose again the third day, according to the scripture. That's what's acceptable to God. What are you going to do if your church closes tomorrow? What? If your church closes, the gates of heaven close? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Jesus Christ's atonement never closes. But when you die, it's too late. Death is too late to get right with God. Once you enter into heaven or once you enter into hell, you don't come back. When one goes to glory, he don't want to come back. Except for when the Lord comes back. The man that was in hell never asked to come back. He did ask for one thing, go tell my family. He said, go tell my family about this place of torment that they may not come. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. God's not willing to cast you into hell. It's your choice. Reject Jesus and God will reject you. God's approval is through Jesus Christ. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name is Jesus. Jesus, 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 greatest name I know. Through his finished atonement, he'll lead me home. Glory, glory to the Lamb. To the one that said, I am. You know what man is? Man's a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You got a sin condition. Sin is worse than cancer. Sin is worse than STD. Sin will kill you. And sin, without being atoned through God, will get you into hell for all eternity. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Sin can be only washed through the Lamb. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Religion adds more stains. Religion adds more sin. The finished work of salvation Rest only in Jesus. To be right with God is to be right through Jesus. To have your name written in the logs of heaven, the Lamb's book of life, is to put your trust, to repent of your sin, of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. To trust the finished work of Calvary's cross. How you doing, buddy? Good, how you doing? Honor. God sent forth his son. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know what you do with something that perishes? You go into your kitchen, you open up the refrigerator, you grab that, that gallon of milk, you open it up, you take a saw, oh, you throw it out. And when God tastes of religion on your lips, God says, oh, you iniquity, depart from me. I can't taste, I can't taste you. I can't approve of you. Perish. And God's incinerator for you and sin is the burning flames of hell. But you don't incinerate. You burn for all eternity. You don't need to burn. You don't need to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. From what? Hell. Why? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. You are perishable in the eyes of God without Jesus. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Don't take your chance with anything but Jesus, because there will not work. You have greater odds to win at gambling than taking your chance with religion. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So how are you going to say something else is going to get you into heaven? Jesus said, I am the way. The way, not a way. There is no other way to God. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Bow now in repentance and be saved. And you will not have to bow down to the great white throne judgment as God says, depart from me, you work in iniquity. Jesus cleanses us of our sin. There will be no iniquity. By the atonement of Jesus Christ, The sacrifice of Jesus Christ is satisfied. To be washed in the Lamb. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe in anything else and you're, you're damned. Condemnation. You're already condemned. You need to come out of condemnation. How do you come out of condemnation? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Many go into the gates of hell. Few go into the gates of heaven. Many will believe in anything but Jesus. Few will put their trust in Jesus.
It'd be a shame for you to die and go to hell when you've heard a preacher preach of the saving grace. For by grace are we saved through faith and not of ourselves. Your works can't save you. Your attendance can't save you. Only by the precious blood of Lord Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Salvation rests upon Jesus. And only by Jesus. There is no religion in the world that will save your soul. But there is Jesus Christ. There is God's Son who is God and willing to save your soul. Entrance into heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's no good life where the Bible says there is none that doeth good. You're not good enough, you'll never be good enough. You can't be good enough when you are put to the scales of Jesus, the good. It's not what you think, it's what God has said. You can be known of God today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is simple and it's free. And it's by Jesus. And only by Jesus. Religion is man-made and Jesus Christ is God approved. Well, preacher, you not religion. Yes, I do, because you can't save your soul. Only by Jesus Christ can you be saved to get to heaven. That's it. That's it. God has set forth one standard. There's one God, one Jesus, one Spirit, one Word, one baptism, and one way to heaven. And when you prepare to meet thy God, and when you meet God in your religion, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You may have your name on a certificate, but you need your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And that happens only through Jesus Christ. You get no heaven reservations by religion. You get to heaven by Jesus. You are not safe without Jesus Christ. You are a hell-bound sinner. And I preach that you may not be. Change your direction, repent, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Still burning. You can't hear it, idiot. He that has the Son.
sun has everlasting light. He that has not the sun shall not see light, but the wrath of God. The blessed hope is Jesus Christ. The Son is Jesus Christ. God is Jesus Christ. You got to go to the church. How are you doing today? God is merciful and He'll save your soul through the finished work of Jesus Christ. And there's nothing else you can do. There is nothing else that has been done. But the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. Gonna bend all of them by the way from the garden. They're ready to die.